Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I want to review for you the ultimate photo book by Siwi. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. This video was sponsored by Siwi, but as always, you'll hear nothing but my honest opinion. If you are a regular follower of this channel, you've seen me talk about Siwi before, but if you're new to this channel, then you need to know a few things about this company. Siwi is the biggest photo book company in Europe. They are present, I think, in almost every European country or most European countries. To my knowledge, you can't get them from the US or outside Europe, but if you are in Europe, you can get these books from anywhere. Now, what you need to know about Siwi is that they have a very wide range of photo books that kind of suit everybody, budget photo book makers and more high-end photo bookers, if that's even a word. And in this video, I want to talk about one specific experience, the ultimate photo book. And the ultimate photo book is not a specific product as such, but it's more like a bundle of features and tools that you can use to create the ultimate photo book. So the things that make the ultimate photo book the ultimate photo book are the extra large sizes, luxury photo book papers, QR video codes, luxury slip cases, presentation boxes, travel maps created in the Siwi editor and metallic highlights that you can embellish your covers with to make sure they really pop when you see them. Now let's do a little unboxing first to show what came in the box and what box it came in. So here is the box that it came in, quite a big chunky box. It's, a, it's an extra large book, so let's open it. Let's pull it out, it's a perfect size. There we go, and this one is the presentation box. I'm going to talk about this in detail in a few minutes and if I open the presentation box um, I can pull out my slipcase and here is the slipcase and if I pull out my book here is my book so that's how it came uh, packaged very securely packed and it's all the perfect size so nothing moves around or gets damaged now let me take in order the things that I talked about all those features that make this the ultimate photo book. The first thing we really want to talk about is the sizes. In order to make a photo book really stand out and make a statement, you have to make it fairly big because smaller photo books just don't seem so impressive. So Siwi offers three extra large sizes, one landscape, one square and one portrait. And this one is the extra large square, which is 30 by 30 centimeters. So you can see quite big and the extra large landscape is 38 by 29 centimeters and the extra large portrait is 28 by 36 centimeters. If these sizes seem a little bit too big for you then you can always go for the large range which is 21 by 21 for the square and 28 by 21 for the landscape and the portrait sizes so slightly smaller but still uh, a decent size but these ones definitely make a bigger impression especially when you open it because then obviously it's going to be twice as big. Now one thing you want to remember when you create an extra large photo book like this one is that the photos are going to be huge. So if you place one photo across two pages like here or one page then you really have to make sure that the quality of those photos is top-notch. I use the combination of photos in this book as you can see they're all from my recent trip to Africa and some of the photos are from my iPhone and some of them are from a, a very high-end DSLR camera and there is a big big difference between the two photos in this size of a book because once I blow up my iPhone photos depending on the lighting and the actual scene some of them can look a bit grainy but the DSLR photos look absolutely stunning in this size so be careful what you choose when you go for a very large book because you have to remember phones are really good but not quite as good as DSLR cameras. The second thing I want to talk about is this amazing thing here which is the metallic highlights. 
Now you can choose these for any cover in the CV range, so they can come on the printed cover, but they can also come on the linen or leather covers. And these highlights come in three different shades. It's gold, rose gold, silver, and you've got a standard gloss, which is printed, but it has a glossy finish. So it really stands out from the matte cover. So I absolutely love this. It's beautiful, it's very metallic, and it's solid and smooth, and it's not going to come off, rub off, or scratch off. It's not one of those metallic foils. So it's really, really worth it, and I absolutely love it. For the covers, you can choose this printed cover, which is obviously personalized back and front, and you've got a, a Siwi logo here in the bottom of the spine, and you can choose a luxury leather or linen. Now I've got this older book here, which is a linen cover, a white linen, and you can see there is a highlight on it as well. So you've got the metallic titles on the front and on the back as well. So this is a, a more luxurious option. I think this is slightly more expensive than the printed one. Now let's have a look at the papers inside. So obviously an ultimate photo book has to come with the ultimate paper types to make sure those photos look as best as they can. So in the CW range, you've got two types of photo book papers. You've got standard digital photo book papers, which are printed on HP Indigo presses and they are digitally printed and they are around 200 GSM, so thicker than the average photo book paper and they come in four finishes which is the classic high gloss, true matte and recycled. So the classic is gonna be a standard silk, the high gloss speaks for itself, the matte is going to be a very, very, very matte paper. And then the new one is the recycled paper, which is perfect if you want to reduce your carbon footprint or if you, know, you want to make sure that you always use recycled materials whenever possible when making a, a gift for yourself. The second category of papers that I have in this book are the photographic or silver halide papers. Now these are printed in a photographic manner, so it's a continuous stone print and it looks much smoother and it's, it's more like a photograph instead of a digital print. The digital print is really good as well, but that's made of tiny dots, so it's a half tone print, but the silver halide is a continuous stone print, so you don't see the tiny dots that make up the image and it's also uh, much nicer on skin tones and nature photography so that's why I chose it in this book. Now what you also need to know about the two groups is that the first group only comes in perfect binding meaning that the book doesn't open completely flat it's not seamless lay flat and the second one the photographic papers come in the lay flat binding which as you can see opens fully flat and is uninterrupted. So it's printed as a double page spread and they are glued together back to back. So there's a big difference in the binding depending on which paper type you choose. The photographic papers come in three finishes, the classic, which is um, a lustrous finish, and you've got the high gloss, which really enhances dynamic range and makes the colors really pop. And you've got the matte, which I picked in both of these books. I don't usually love matte papers because they can seem a little bit dead on the colors and a little bit dead on the dynamic range, but this matte paper is absolutely gorgeous. The dynamic range is retained and everything looks great, but there is no glare at all, so it looks very kind of elegant, minimalist and timeless. Now let's come to some more unique features of the ultimate photo book. Now one thing that they introduced uh, not too long ago is the slipcase. And a slipcase, you know, sometimes can be just a random box, but in this case, it's a very sturdy case, which is fully personalized. It's going to match your photo book back and front. I think this is one of the best things about this book. So you can just slide it in and there we go. Slide out because you've got this little opening here and it's a perfect match to the book. And uh, I, think, I think it just looks really nice. One of my favorite things about the Ultimate Photo Book, and you can keep it like this on the shelf, it protects the book a little bit more than just the, the hardcover. And it also has a personalized spine. So if you put them up like that, you can see which book is inside. Now, if you want to take it up a notch and you're either giving this as a gift to someone or maybe it's your wedding album and you want to make it look a little bit more presentable and a little bit more grand, then you can go for this lovely presentation box, which is really sturdy. As you can see, it's quite big and it has this lovely ribbon inside which helps to lift out the book. The presentation box has a, a linen finish. It's a gray linen 
very nice again timeless elegant this one is not personalized regarding the material but it's a beautiful box now that i've talked about all the physical features of the ultimate photo book let's talk a little bit about the technical features so the editor has three ways that it works you can use it on your smart devices so iphone smartphone tablet you can use it on their website as an online desktop editor and you can also download their software which is going to give you the most flexibility and uh, the most tools for creating a photo book i created this book on the desktop editor because it's a bigger screen and i like to have the utmost flexibility when creating a book the editor is very easy to use lots of things you can do in it very kind of uh, advanced in the sense that you can almost change anything about a book, but you can also start off with some pre-designed templates. Now, the two big innovations in the Siwi editor is that one, you can now have travel maps. And if you know me, I'm obsessed with travel maps. And I don't think that any travel photo book is complete without a travel map. And now within the Siwi editor, you can create maps and you can see now on the screen how it works. You can create maps with multiple points, connect them, like show your entire journey on one map, or you can create an individual map where you just pinpoint one location to show that the photos on this specific spread were taken at that point in you know geographically in that country so there's many ways of using the maps but you can have multiple maps within the book and you can have multiple maps on a single page as well and of course you can uh, change the style of the map and you have quite a lot of um, ability to customize the features on the map now it takes a little bit of time to work out how the map creator works there is a, i would say a medium learning curve but, but once you trialed it and tested it out then it's fairly straightforward the second thing that Siwi started doing with their books is the QR code for videos. And this one means that you can upload videos onto the Siwi server and then insert these videos onto specific pages in your book, either as a QR code or as a kind of film strip thing. And when you page your book and you hold the phone above that specific QR code, then the phone is going to find that video automatically and you can see all the associated memories in a video format so it comes alive in a way. What you need to know about this QR code feature is that the videos are uploaded to Siwi's website and you will have to pay a rental fee every year to keep it. I think it's for one or three years and you have to pay that to keep the videos on the server and if you stop paying that fee then you won't be able to access those videos. So it's not a free service but it's a service that you can have for the photo books and if you have a bunch of books with Siwi then obviously it's really worth it because you can include them into every single book. I hope I managed to showcase some of the amazing features that make this the ultimate photo book in the Siwi range and why you should go for it. Now, remember, this photo book is not for the very budget um, conscious customers because the more features you add, the more charges are going to add up in your basket. But you'll see all these charges and you can think about which feature is the most important to you. I hope you could see that in this video that it's a very high quality book and there are a lot of features that are almost unique to Siwi. Well, if you have any more questions about this book, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.